All right, uh, Shalom, Yashurala, first and foremost. As always, I want to begin by giving all the praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem El Shai, Bashem Wakakudash. Okay. Um, as always, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh is His Son, who the world you know, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bashem Wakakudash is in the name of the Holy Spirit in the Pale of Hebrew. Uh, the last one, Kudash. Okay. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and mercy unto you, Akim, that are doing the work of Yahab Bashim al Shai, okay, in sincerity, faith, and truth, okay? Now, you know, I just came across, you know, um, this article, you know, that I saw uh, that a brother on uh, Instagram posted, you know, and I just went over to read it, but, you know, this is where we're living, man, okay? This is a society that we live in where wickedness, you know, is going to increase more and more. And so all the scripture says that her sins have reached unto heaven, okay, the sins of America, the sins of the society, okay, um, we're living um, in a time of where everything that is righteous will be turned upside down and deemed wicked, okay, um, everything that the Lord Yahabah Shema Shai set in stone, okay, in the order in which the Lord wanted it to be in, okay, will be turned upside down because the Lord Yahabah Shema Shai gave the wicked this world to rule okay so everything like i said will be turned upside down okay and as you see here the title of this article it says toxic masculinity american uh, uh, psychological association says it's bad to be a man okay and this is you know pretty much uh what they push out there okay this is not new okay as you see everything is geared towards uh, pushing the vibration of uh, the nature of a woman, okay, being soft, emotional, okay, not thinking, you know, with any logic, okay, but with your emotions and so on and on, okay, and now they're pushing out that, you know, pretty much being masculine, okay, um, you know, to be a man is bad, pretty much, okay, and a lot of these things, you know, that we have issues with, Okay, majority of these things are being pushed down in these little children, man. Okay, in the schools. Okay, they're being taught that it's okay to have nail polish, okay, if you're a boy. Or that it's all right for you, to, for you to wear a bra if you're a boy. Or if you're a boy, it's okay if you want to be Luna tomorrow. Okay, these things, you know, is what we have to fight against, man. Okay, and another reason, okay, why we're living in the worst case scenario and that the Lord Yahab Bashimasha has to return, otherwise we're all gonna die, like the scripture says, man, if it if it was not for the elect's sake, okay? So there's a lot of issues, okay, a lot of issues that are happening, you know, as we see, you know, that we're getting closer and closer to the Lord, okay, judging this place once and for all, man. Okay. Um and installing, okay, the kingdom of Israel, beginning with Yahweh receiving his crowns, man, okay? And then the elect will reign with Yahweh okay? But as you see the state of the world, man, okay, this government shutdown, looking at, you know, pretty much what's happening in diverse places, earthquakes, wars, and rumors of wars, we're living in the worst case scenario, okay? Although all these things are happening, okay, it's a beautiful time to live in, man. Because the judgment of Yahab Hashem is soon to be here, and the earth will be refreshed again, okay? The earth will be refreshed again, the trees will be able to rejoice, okay? People are going to be happier, beginning with the elect men of Yahab Hashem and the rest of the children of Israel, okay? And then eventually, the heathen nations, after a thousand years of slavery, and Esau will be wiped out, okay? All these things are prophecies of things to come. Okay, but before all these things happen, okay, wickedness has to be removed from this earth, man. Like uh, it says in the book of Ezra, so let me get this here real quick. Um, this is in the book of Ezra, 2nd Ezra, Salakia, okay, chapter 4. I'll start from verse, from verse 27, okay. Um, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in the time in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities, okay? And as you see, okay, these things that are being pushed out, man, okay? 
in this world homosexuality okay um what is it adultery okay worshiping other idols all of these things are unrighteousness and infirmities okay for as concerning the things that are rough which so like it verse 28 Second Ezra uh, 4 verse 28. It says, But as concerning the things that wrote, thou ask me, I will tell thee, for evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Okay? And as you see, man, okay, a lot of people see the wickedness that are happening in this place, man. But if you speak against it, okay, like for example, in the social media, you know, platform, okay, you will be deemed, you know, um, as a hate group, okay? Or you're speaking against, you know, um, this homosexuality or whatever, okay? You will be looked at, okay, as a person who's crazy and you hate everybody, okay? But that's okay, man, because the Lord Yahweh Hashem said, okay, that, uh, you know, we're, you know, it's going to come to a time when we prophesy, okay, that these people are going to falsely accuse us of such things, okay? That, you know, they're going to call us names and so on and on, but it's all right, okay? But my point is that, you know, they pretty much tell you that you have a freedom of speech or that uh, you have your own opinions. But when you share your opinions, then therefore you're looked at, you know, as someone who is crazy, man, in this world. That goes to show the confusion and backwards the society is heading towards or is actually at. Okay. And it says, verse 29, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. Okay, so pretty much saying that if this place does not get uh, destroyed, okay, then righteousness cannot be installed in here, man. Okay, it's like, you know, uh, the, uh, you know, Akim here, you know, uh, the head of the camp out here, he pretty much said it's like trying to mix oil and water. You can't do it, man. Okay, you got to separate the two. Okay, you got to get rid of one and then put the other, man. Okay, that's the same thing in this society. You got to get rid of this society in order for the children of Israel to be able to rule alongside Yahweh Shai in the kingdom. Okay, you cannot build your kingdom in Esau's kingdom, man. That is fucking bullshit. Okay, because this society, okay, is, you know, uh, pretty much uh, founded upon wickedness, man. And if you try to be righteous, okay, it's very hard, man. Okay. So you cannot do that. But it says, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. For the grain of evil seed had been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning, and how much ungodliness hath, hath it brought unto this time. That's right, man. Okay? So when Adam went off, okay, and compare it to pretty much now, it's gotten worse and worse and worse and worse over time, okay? And how much shall it yet bring forth until the time of threshing come, okay? Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, is pretty much saving, um, you know, this uh, uh, last judgment, saving the best for last, man, okay? But going to this, uh, you know, article, I'm just going to read here quickly. And then, you know, if you guys want to read the rest, you can search it up on RT News. But it says toxic masculinity. American Psychological Association says it's bad to be a man. Okay, attention, boys. Bullying, homophobia, sexual harassment, and abuse are all your fault. According to new guidelines published by the world's largest association of psycholog um, psychologists, while tradition just like it while traditional gender roles under which men are stoic competitive dominant and aggressive have um existed for millennia the rise of social justice culture has seen a new phrase um popularized in recent years toxic masculinity the idea that traditional male traits are toxic and dangerous has largely remained confined to feminist blogs and social science um, faculties. But now, the American Psychological Association, in brackets APA, have jumped on board. Okay? And it goes on to says right here, this is the main point. In the APA's first ever set of guidelines to help psychologicals, so like a um, psychologist work with men and boys 
the association state that traditional masculinity is psychologically harmful and causes damage that echoes both inwardly and, and outwardly. What the fuck is wrong with Esau, man? And it says, but what is traditional masculinity anyway? The APA says traditional masculinity is defined by um, stoicism, competitiveness, dominance, and aggression. It's found in men's resilience and in the face of adversity and intense, so like an, an insistence on looking tough despite mental suffering and in their uh, tendencies to handle emotional traits with anger. Esau is wicked, man. Okay? Like, you know, like I said in the beginning. Okay? Now, again, uh, you know, if you want to read the rest of that article, you can. But Esau is pretty much leaning towards turning everyone, you know, um, into this uh, gender, uh, like a gender, uh, gender, like a gender neutrality or whatever the hell he calls it, man. Yahabash Shai created man and woman, male and female, okay, and no, you know, and no such thing as gender, gender neutral, okay, but again, man, okay, we're living in the worst case scenario, and here's an example, like Esau says, it's bad to be a man, okay, until next time, you have a shalom,